What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be Visit Chicago, the don'ts of visiting Chicago. Now this is a Water World video, we've done a few of these already, we've done the don'ts of visiting the South and the don'ts of visiting the USA. Now we're getting a little bit more specific, Chicago as, as a whole. Um, I don't know if there's more on these in terms of other different cities or states, uh, which would be interesting to see because at the end of the day, eventually, once all this COVID stuff over, once all travel bans have been lifted and once we have potentially a bit more money in our pockets, I want to visit as many states, cities as possible in the US. Um, heard amazing things from his reactions and absolutely loving doing them. So I want to visit all these places. I want to visit and meet some of you absolute legends as well. Um, so I, I need to do the don'ts because I don't want to turn up and I don't want to be disrespectful. You know what I mean? That's not me. I don't want to be disrespectful. And these give me a brilliant insight to the states, cities, countries and stuff like that. It's absolutely awesome. Hit that like button if you want to see more content like this. Or if you just love the video, even if you don't want to see more content like this, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You're absolute legends. I seriously appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let's check out the Visit Chicago, the don'ts of Visit in Chicago. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. Today we're here in Chicago Millennium Park. We've got the bean behind us. And today what we have for you are the... That is one big bean. One big, big bean. Don'ts of visiting Chicago. And this city is fantastic. Tons of great museums, awesome people, amazing food. Eh, weather, eh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But the, the fact that it says caution ice in the background, <laughs> I'm expecting it to be cold, very cold. Thing is, even in great cities like Chicago, we got the things you want to do, and we got the things you don't do. So the first don't I have for you, and probably the most important don't I have for you when you come to Chicago is don't drive and don't deal with the parking. Look, Chicago traffic is horrible. Oh, all wow. year round, all day long, all the time. Whether you're heading out to O'Hare, the airport, driving here downtown, taking the interstate around the city, driving is just chaotic here. And the I mean, it could have picked better images because on these videos, it doesn't seem that chaotic. It seems pretty chill, to be honest. Thing is, <laughs> the people are very aggressive drivers too, so it could be a little hair-raising, white knuckly when you are driving here in Chicago. Okay. So just have a heads up for that. So if you can, just, just don't drive when you're here. And also going along with that, don't deal with the parking. Oh my gosh. Parking downtown Chicago is insane expensive. Somewhere between oh, wow. college tuition and a mortgage payment. I think that's where, wow, where parking is here in Chicago. <laughs> so what I recommend is come in with the train, fly in, use public transport, whatever. Try not to drive when you are here. Makes now sense. the thing is, if you are driving to Chicago and you got to park and stuff like that, get the parking at your hotel and just leave it. Use public transport, use Uber, use whatever. You can walk around the city easily because you don't want to have to get out, try to drive, find another place to park play another insane expensive parking rate when you're there just don't do that okay and that kind of leads into our second don't is don't worry about not driving because the CTA the Chicago Transit Authority actually has really good public transportation nice. here in Chicago I mean this is what public transportation should be in the US they've got the L the elevated train going around that'll take you all over the place the bus system here awesome and the thing is it goes to pretty much every tourist place you want to go as a tourist you you can go there on public transportation. I'm just impressed you've got an elevated train, the L. That seems pretty awesome, to be fair. I know people would just say it's just a raised train. But to me, that looks pretty awesome. I've never seen one of them before, so yeah, fair play. <laughs> and what's cool is actually the price for the public transportation here in Chicago is actually a fair price too, so nice. it's really cool. So make sure you do use that public transportation when you are here. Now, my next stone for you here in Chicago is don't worry about being bored. This city is chock full a big <laughs> of world-class museums, festivals, concerts, nice. all kinds of awesome stuff to do. You've got the Art Institute of Chicago, one of the best art museums in the world. you got the Shedd Aquarium, one of the top aquariums in the world. you got the Field Museum, one of the best natural history museums in the world. you got the Museum of Science oh, and wow, Industry, man. one of the best science museums in the world. You see where I'm going here? The Planetarium, there's all kinds of great stuff here. Broadcast Museum, you got all kinds of great museums here. You don't like museums? That's fine. Hit the theater here, pay a fraction of the price you pay in New York, and see fantastic shows at the theaters here in Chicago. In a well, I mean, for me, I'll go to museums, I'll go to the theater, I'll enjoy hopefully nice weather, I'll look at a massive bean. It's Chicago sounds great, man. <laughs> it sounds absolutely great. Around. Oh, you want to do stuff with your kids? Great. You got you got Great America. You can go to the amusement parks that are here. Yes. There's all kinds of amazing things to do here in Chicago. So you're never really bored when you're here because there's always something else to do. What else do we need to do? What's next? What's next? What's next? 
And if you come here in the summertime, I know I'm not here in the summertime right now, but if you come in the summer, there's all kinds of great festivals going on when you're here. My personal favorite is the Taste of Chicago, which is right behind the camera here. You go there and try different foods from different restaurants throughout the city. Oh my nice. God. It is a fantastic experience. That so looks you beautiful, always by got the something way. to do. Whether you want to watch sports, yeah, you can watch the Bulls play, you can watch the Bears, the Cubs, the White Sox, you can see them, the Fire. I mean, there's so many sports to do. Watch, see, things to do, bike riding, all kinds of stuff here. Believe me, you will never be bored when you're here in Chicago. Oh, yeah, nice. there's also great nightlife. You know, rush street or go party. Yeah, well, what is Billy Goat? Maybe I'll have to give that a go one day. That seems like a very traditional American grill. I mean, I know it's a grill. It says it right there. I'm not guessing that bit. Before someone says, how can you pretend you don't know it's a grill when you can see it? But it's like, it seems to me like a very traditional, like a home one. I don't know. I may be completely wrong. Maybe I'll give it a go one day. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff to do when you're here, so don't worry about being bored, okay? And the thing is, a lot of people don't realize is when you're a tourist, a lot of times you stay downtown or in the loop. You know, oh, I'm gonna go to the Magnificent Mile, then I'll stay in the loop, I'll stay down in this area here. What you don't realize is, don't just stay in the loop in the downtown area, go out okay. and explore. There's really cool suburbs to go check out. Go to the North Shore, go see Evanston, go head out and go to, you know, go to Gurney Yes and go to the Great America, stuff like that. The Lincoln Park Zoo, go out to Greek. Is that a train? Or was, that is a very, I've never seen a train that big in my life. That, that it must be a train. It has to be a train. It, there's no way out. There's all them buses attached. Is that a double decker train? What? That's <laughs> actually, yeah, let me know in the comments. This may be just that idiotic moment right now, but I've never seen, that looks like a double-decker train to me, and I've never seen a double-decker train before. I know a double-decker buses. Is it? Oh, please let me know in the comments, because Dave, I say I've never seen before. I know it's just nothing to do with this video, but wow, man. That is huge. Town. There's all kinds of things you can see and do in the Chicago area that's not just in the loop. Because as a tourist, most of the time we're kind of down here in the loop, in the downtown area kind of stuff, maybe yep. a little bit north of there on Michigan Avenue, and we don't get out there and see things. So make sure you go out and explore. And that public transportation will take you out there, okay? You can grab a metro train, hit some of the suburbs as well. So that is really kind of a cool thing. Um, another don't, I guess I should say, is if you're going to be staying downtown, which you probably will, okay. don't expect a lot going on after six or seven o'clock at night downtown because this is more of a work area so people go home so it's like a ghost town at night here and on the weekends so do have a heads up for that you know keep your eyes open a little bit more in the evening time here because honestly you're down here one maybe to go to a show at one of the theaters maybe go to, out to eat but there's not a lot of things going on here oh also, wow the shops here downtown actually close earlier than the malls and the suburbs and stuff like that so just have a heads up for that so kind of going on with that ghost town kind of feeling is sometimes you think ghost town oh should i be worried well that kind of leads into another don't i have for here in chicago don't be lackadaisical with your safety here. Probably the most dangerous thing for a tourist though is when you cross the street because the drivers are a little nuts here and they're quite <laughs> aggressive. So do wow, have a heads man. up when you're crossing the street. Don't just stand at the end or stand in the street when you're getting ready to go. Make sure you're paying attention. Yeah. That's one thing. Another thing, if you feel uncomfortable in any part, you, you don't feel right, go hop into a store or hop into a restaurant. It's okay, call a cab, call an Uber and, and, and head out. I mean, there are some parts of Chicago you don't want to go to. I'm sure in the comment section you'll hear a lot of things down there. But what I'd recommend is ask your hotel, hey, we're looking to go here. Is it okay? Is that okay? Just ask them. And that's one thing you see anywhere in the world. There's good parts of town. There's bad parts oh, of town. definitely. So do have a heads up for that. And do ask where, where you should go or shouldn't go. Because the city is fantastic, but there are issues you got to think about. Always keep your eye out. I mean, some of the things might just annoy you. It's not really a safety thing. You'll have guys, you know, you'll have guys, hey, can I have a dollar? Can I have a dollar? Man, just, all you gotta say, either give them a dollar or say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man, or just walk by. They won't give you really any trouble there, but do be smart when you are here in Chicago because there are parts of towns you shouldn't go to. And if you're not sure, I would ask your concierge, hey, this is where we're gonna go today. What do you think? Is that okay there? And they'll let you know. And I would. Oh, definitely. I think, you know, on that point, it's the fact that anywhere you go in the world, pretty much, I say everywhere, there, there probably is somewhere where it's perfect in every single place. But wherever you go in the world, the US, the UK, there's going to be dangerous parts of it, um, 100%. So you've got to always be careful and you've got to always be sensible about these things. I think everyone understands that. And I don't think you can put a stain on potentially a beautiful city or somewhere you want to see because there is bad areas around it. 
you can just avoid them. You can plan it and avoid them, and hopefully nothing happens. Because at the end of the day, it could happen anywhere in the world. I, I, I completely agree with that. Just avoid it, plan it, know where you are, and make sure you are safe. And I would really just say is use your usual travel sense. You know, yep. if you're coming down here and where a lot of tourists are, yeah, keep your wallet in your front pocket and stuff like that. Yeah. But overall, that is something I, I'm so, like, I'm such a sucker when I'm a tourist, like constantly checking. I don't know why I just am. It's one of them. I, I don't normally do it when I'm walking the streets at home, which I potentially should do because it is just as dangerous. But when I'm abroad, because you're thinking about it more, you're alert, like you don't know your surroundings. I'm like, boom, every five minutes, oh, still got my wallet. It's all right. Still got my passport. You know, I don't carry it around. But like, when you first get there, still got my passport. I can still make it home if something goes bad or I can make it home at the end of the week. Definitely. <laughs> Bro, I haven't had really any problems in Chicago, but I know there are problems. So do have a heads okay. up. But honestly, this, the biggest safety thing for you as a tourist is crossing that street, okay? Now, another kind of safety thing I have for you is, you know that sign behind me says caution ice? Yeah. Look, don't mess around with the falling snow and falling ice if you come here in the winter. It can be dangerous. You see the building up there with that slant? Yeah, the, the ice packs up, the snow packs up, it falls. It can be oh, dangerous, wow. so don't mess around with those. I know some tourists are like, oh, that's a cool picture, I wanna get that. Do have a heads up with those. And, and I guess another Literally. don't I'll kind of go along with that is don't think you shouldn't visit Chicago in the winter. I'm here in the winter and the thing is the people in Chicago know that it's very cold and windy and snowy. It can be here in the wintertime in Chicago and they have prepared the city for you. Okay. That means the museums, all the fantastic museums, the restaurants, all this stuff. You can have a great time inside when you're here. So don't be scared for coming here in the winter months. Now, I'm not gonna say it's the best time to come because you come here in January with the wind and you're walking like this. <laughs> Maybe you're not gonna have as good of a time as you came here in the spring or the summer yeah. where you can hit the beaches and stuff like that and go out on Lake Michigan and do an architectural boat tour and things like that. There's a, it's a better to come in the summer and spring, than, but don't think you can't come in the winter time. That sounds perfect to me, an architectural boat tour, the beach, the sun. Oh, Chicago, I'm visiting you in the summer, man. Screw the winter, screw okay. that. And speaking of some tourist stuff, don't forget to do one of those architectural boat tours Definitely. when you're here. Look, this is kind of the home of the skyscraper and you have amazing architecture throughout the city. I mean, awesome, I would say, man. don't forget to stretch your neck out before oh, you come to that. Chicago, because you're gonna be looking up and seeing all these really cool skyscrapers and all this really cool, all these really cool buildings, you know, the Tribune Tower, the Wrigley Building, yes, the Sears Tower, or Willis Tower, however you spell it. Um, there's all kinds of, the Hancock Building going around. Oh my gosh, there's so many fantastic buildings to take in and architecture to come in. Beautiful, and if you man. take that architectural boat tour on the Chicago River, it's really cool because they give you the history and the explanations of the buildings and the styles, and it really brings a lot more out. So when you walk around the city, you really get a lot more bang for your buck when you look at these fantastic buildings. Definitely. Now, man. you notice I had a little problem saying Sears, Willis, Willis, Sears Tower. Look, my next stone for you is don't call it Willis Tower with the locals. <laughs> look, it's always going to be the Sears Tower. Now, if you might not okay. know this, it's actually spelled W-I-L-L-I-S Tower, but you pronounce it Sears Tower, okay? Just so you know. Now, okay, I mean, it's one of those things. It's changed names, okay? And the thing is, Sears Tower... Or I guess it had changed name, but then he did throw me off when you say you pronounce it that. It did throw me off a little bit, but I guess it had changed name. Willis Tower was at one time the tallest building in the world. Yep. And they actually have an observation deck at the top. You can go see. It's probably Definitely. one of the most popular pictures, aside from the bean, that I see from people when they go to Chicago. But I'm going to tell you something if for going to the Willis slash Sears Tower. Don't feel that you have to pay to go up and get a great view of the city, and that's the only place to get it. What I recommend, go to the Hancock Building. 96th floor, there's a bar there. It's free to go up, and you have free views of this beautiful city. But also what's cool is the drinks up there are actually pretty fairly priced, so why not head to the Hancock, go up the 96th floor, hit the bar there, have a great drink while you look at this great city. That's a much better way to spend your money that you'd spend going up to the top of the Sears slash Willis Tower Spend that on a drink in the Hancock building. That, that's what I would recommend. Or do both. I'm definitely going to do both. End of the day, I, I don't know about you guys, but if you are someone just visiting for the first time, you want to experience it all. You want that experience of going up the Willis Cheers Tower. Um, just, yeah, that experience and just being able to say you've done it and then the view from there. And then you want to be able to see that tower with the rest of the city having a drink. Do them both, man. If you only go in there potentially once in your life, maybe only a handful of times, enjoy it and do as much as you can. Enjoy life, man, definitely. Now, some other tourist things you should know about. One thing is, if you're gonna go to Navy Pier, which is a very much a tourist place, realize 
don't expect to see locals at Navy Pier. Navy Pier is, I mean, it's really developed for tourists, and it's nice okay. for tourists to go to. I go there because I'm a tourist. I'm not from <laughs> Chicago. I enjoy that. But the locals will tell you, oh, that's a tourist thing. So don't expect to see the locals there. Another thing I guess I should say about the locals, don't expect to hear that Chicago accent. You know, you saw on TV back in the day, oh, like sausage in Chicago, the bears, the bulls. <laughs> People don't talk like that here anymore, okay? Yes, you'll find a few people that do occasionally, but in general, the Chicago accent sadly has kind of died off, so you're not gonna hear that when you're here. There we Another go. don't with the people here. Don't trust everyone that tells you they're from Chicago, because most likely they're from the suburbs. Actually, Chicago, the city proper, is actually relatively small, and most of the people in the Chicago metropolitan area live out in the suburbs. So that person you meet that says, oh yeah, I'm from Chicago, they might be from Evanston, or they might be from Naperville, or Arlington Heights, or Tinley Park, or wherever. And the thing is, if you have people that are from real Chicago, like they're born here in Chicago, they grew up in Chicago, in Chicago, Chicago, they will call out those people every single day. Oh, really? What's true? Where'd you grow up? Which school did you go to? Oh, oh, you mean you're from Naperville? Oh, right. So you're not really from Chicago. You're from the Burbs, okay? So that's sort of a little fun thing you'll see with the locals here. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely stay clear of that. Oh, well, like, you from Chicago? Yeah, I'm not questioning that, man. Show me around or have a drink. <laughs> drink on me, man. I'm not going to question your integrity or anything. Just be happy, man. <laughs> If, if it's a suburb, fair enough. The locals, that'd be quite funny to see. I imagine someone absolutely showing them up. But for me, who am I to question whether they live in, live next to Chicago or not when I'm across the pond, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, another thing tourists love to do when they travel is eat. And Chicago is no exception to those eating cities. And my don't for that is don't. Don't, don't, don't come to Chicago on a diet. <laughs> they love huge portion sizes. They love their food. They love their nice. meat. They love their everything here. And you're going to eat a lot when you're here. I mean, the deep dish pizza here, the Chicago style deep dish that pizza. Looks nice, yeah, by it's boy. like this thick. And you Whoa. will just be oh, so full. And the thing is, there's so many great restaurants here. And it's not just the deep dish pizza and the Chicago hot dog. No, there's so much more here. Go to Greek Town, have amazing Greek food. Little Italy, there's great, there's great Mexican food here. Have some great Polish food, German food. There's so many different nationalities and ethnicities here in Chicago and they've brought their food here so you have amazing food when you're here so don't come on a diet just go and enjoy <laughs> everything all right Definitely. now I do have a couple don'ts for some traditional Chicago things one if you get the uh, the deep dish pizza here in Chicago don't think you can finish the pizza yourself I know a lot of people go oh I get a pan pizza from Pizza Hut I get a medium and finish it myself oh no 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 no, no. that that's like their tiny baby little tiny brother versus the Chicago wow. style deep dish pizza. This stuff, I'm talking like, I can barely finish two slices. That's how thick and big it is with all the meat and cheese and then the sauce on top, the really thick crust. I mean, it will really fill you up. I had some last night and I was smart. I got the individual size. The guy next to me, he was a tourist from England. He's like, oh, I'll get a small. That's what I get at Pizza Hut at home. I'm like, dude, get the individual. He's like, no, no, I'll get it. <laughs> And he sat there, he got through two and maybe a half pieces and didn't eat the end of them. And he's like, uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm like, I told you. <laughs> and so do have a heads up for that. Also, don't be surprised if it takes them about 45 minutes to cook that deep dish pizza because it takes a while to be there. Also, don't let them talk you into getting appetizers. It's going to be enough food anyway when you get the pizza, okay? So instead oh, of yeah. ordering food appetizers, just drink some of the good Chicago beer when you're here. Revolution Brewery, Two Brothers Brewery, uh, maybe get some Goose Island when you're here. I mean, a 312 is always good with pizza, so do have that. That sounds pretty cool, but 45 minute wait for a deep dish, man. I, I guess if you can go away, if it's one of them where, if it's a restaurant, that is a long wait, man. Is that just me? You just sat there, you're not going to have your appetizers because it's obviously enough food, especially for someone like me. I'm going to get one slice of max in, it sounds like. Um, 45 minute wait, that's an extremely long time to wait. Or is it one of them, you rock up, kind of a deep dish pizza, mate, oh, I've that, that, that. All right, assume 45, and then you go on with your day. 45 minutes later, you walk up, same thing. Got my order, mate? Yeah, cheers. Is it one of them? Let me know. Because if it's a restaurant, that's an extremely long way. It sounds like it's worth a wait, but <laughs> it's a very long wait. Another don't with the food. If you get that Chicago dog, you know, people always say, well, don't put ketchup on your Chicago dog. It's true. It's got so much other stuff on there, it doesn't need it. I mean, it's got pickles and, and, and relish and yep. tomatoes and mustard and, and like sweet jalapenos like kind of things on top. It's so good. And it's got so many other flavors that it mix perfectly together that you don't need the ketchup. So don't worry about that. One of the great things about Chicago is actually it has something for everybody, whether you like 
like culture, whether you like food, whether you like sports, whether you like art. There's all kinds of stuff for everybody. So nice. what I want to say is don't forget to bring the whole family when you come here to Chicago because they have stuff for everybody. Yes, you can do the amusement parks like Great American, stuff like that, or you can do the about the family. I mean, I've only got a girlfriend, but I'll go with them teacups any day of the week. You know, some some people say pink suits me. Some people do. But them teacups, I definitely enjoy them. I'd be, I, it's one of them. I turn into a little kid when I'm on stuff like this. I'll be spinning it because you get to spin it with a middle bit as well. I'll be loving life. I don't know about you guys, but I will. Art Institute or the Science Museum of Science Industry. My kids love it. Every time we go there, we spend an entire day there. And that's what's so cool about Chicago. The people are friendly. They're cool with the kids being here. There's stuff for them all the time. So don't think this is just a romantic getaway place. This is actually a really cool place for the whole family to come nice. to, okay? And, and speaking of places you should go with the family, or maybe not with the family, it's up to you. Go into a game at Wrigley. And I would say, don't enjoy think that. baseball's Definitely. too boring to go to a game at Wrigley Field. I want to go. For those of you who don't know, baseball is a very popular sport here in the U.S., but a lot of people that don't know it think it's pretty boring. And actually, people that actually know baseball think it's kind of boring sometimes. Oh, wow. But the thing is, going <laughs> to a game at Wrigley to see the Chicago Cubs is like the quintessential, I know it's my favorite word in these videos, quintessential Chicago sports visit, okay? Wow. The whole area, it's called Wrigleyville. There's tons of bars, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. It's like, it should be called Partyville because before the game, during the game, and after the games, they have party time okay and you're drinking your beers awesome. and having your fun and going to watch the cubs play and what's cool as a tourist the cubs play during the day a lot of times in the summer they have 81 home games okay yep. most of them are during the day so you can see some sights during the day then the afternoon go head out to a game take it in sitting in the bleachers is the must but don't think that there's assigned seats in the bleachers. You just kind of go where you want to go. Got yes, yeah. you buy overpriced beer, but it's such a great experience to go to the game that really don't pass it up if you have a chance here in Chicago, okay? Um, another don't I have for you has to do with the airport. Look, there's there's O'Hare and there's Midway here. Um, O'Hare is probably the airport you're probably going to fly into or out of. And my, my don't for you is don't mess with O'Hare. Look, if you've got a flight out and they say be there two hours early, be there two hours early, okay? Oh, yeah. They say okay. be there three hours early, be there three hours early. Cause yeah, if they said be there three hours early, by this logic, I'm being there seven hours early. I ain't taking any risks. If I go get a flight, I'm getting a flight. O'Hare <laughs> is infamous for sometimes long check-in lines, oh, long wow. security checkpoints, stuff like that, and it can take a long time. And I know a lot of people that have missed flights because they didn't get through security fast oh, enough. Oh, man. So don't mess around with O'Hare. And if you're flying in internationally and you're transferring through Chicago, you'll fly into Terminal 5, and then you got to take the train to one of the other terminals. The thing is, when you do that, you go out, and the train is outside security, so you have to go on that I'll and come then go back, back through security again to get back in the other terminal so do have a heads up for that it will take you some time so don't mess around with O'Hare okay a couple more dumps for you when you are going around Chicago don't expect to find a lot of public toilets you'll see a lot yeah that, that looks like a double decker train again <laughs> a lot of restaurants and places will say no no free public toilet or something like that, that makes sense so you might need to grab a drink or something for to use their bathrooms another don't I have for you if you're gonna take the metro out to the suburbs don't forget to pick up your ticket at the ticket station before you get on the metro because you can buy the tickets on the metro but they do charge you like five bucks more so if you're going to go out there save the five bucks don't forget to pick up the ticket before you get on so just a couple other ones i want to put in we'll go back to the pretty bean for some more stuff <laughs> and my last don't for you here in chicago is don't pass up the second city. Look, Chicago should be the first city you want to visit when you come to the U.S. because of the culture, because of the sports, because of the festivals, because of the awesome people. You will love Chicago, the Midwest feel here, the friendly people, the fun awesome, stuff to man. do. It really is a fantastic city to visit. That's why when you talk to people that come to the U.S., you'll see an inordinate amount of people say, I really love Chicago because this city rocks, okay? So I hope this helps you know a bit more about Chicago so you're more prepared Definitely. when you do come here. We have some other videos. I have some really, really old videos from being here, but also some more recent ones like five things you should eat when you come here and other things like that to help you out. Also, if you want some other don'ts, maybe the don'ts of visiting the U.S. or the don'ts of the Midwest. I think he's wrapping up the video there, so we will end it. If you want to check out his channel, the link will be in the description, guys. 
I've really enjoyed this one. Walter's Word, a fantastic channel, a lot of information. I know not everyone's a cup of tea, which I find out in the comments, but I really enjoy it. And I learned a lot more about the South, the USA, and now Chicago, and potentially more if you want me to look at them, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Chicago seems absolutely awesome, and it's definitely it's definitely shot up the list a little bit more as well, um, which I don't know when I'll get around to, but hopefully one day I've got to go and see if I've been and get a photo of it. It is massive, man. <laughs> absolutely massive. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you absolute legends. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.